An astronaut with deep Minnesota roots is heading to space. NASA astronaut Dr. Anil Menon, born and raised in Minneapolis, will embark on his first mission to the International Space Station in June of 2026. During his eight-month mission, Menon will help conduct cutting-edge science, tech, and medical experiments aimed at preparing humans for future deep space missions, as well as benefiting life here on Earth. I talked with him this morning about how growing up in Minnesota helped really craft his dream of going to space. Dr. Menon, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm super excited to uh, talk to you and just connect with folks in Minnesota, Minneapolis, and St. Paul. It's, uh, it's got a warm place in my heart having grown up there. Let's start there. Yes. Was there any time in your your childhood all the way up to your college years when you left that really made you kind of click and say, this is what I want to do with my life. I want to be an astronaut. Yeah, there, there was two, th two things that I really think about a lot. One is going to the Science Museum in Minnesota, uh, going being at the Omni Theater and watching this movie as a kid, the dream is alive. And I saw these astronauts doing a spacewalk and working in space. And I thought, that's what I want to do. Like, how do you do something out there um, that's that amazing um, and adventurous? And I just loved it. Um, so that that's kind of where the spark started. I had no idea how to do that. I just thought it was really cool uh, and kept it in the back of my mind. In fact, it seemed maybe even impossible. Um, and then the, the second thing is just being part of all the cool outdoor stuff that you just naturally do by being uh, in Minnesota and you just take for granted, like going to camps up in the boundary waters and being in the wilderness. And later I'd end up doing wilderness medicine. Uh, and I think it really came from those experiences and just wanting to be out there um, in the environment doing stuff. and space medicine really is just wilderness medicine so i was able to just port that and translate it and and uh and take those skills and 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 use them for my training and and nasa are there any medical experiments or human health related studies that you're particularly excited about i'm super excited about the different cell printers that they have up there because um when you're trying to print an organ and people, people need organs, right? So maybe something fails, you got cancer, you got into an accident, um, and we look for organ donors. But um, sometime in the future, we're going to be able to create those so that the demand is met and people who need these things can have them. Well, they need a certain structure internally to them. With gravity, that structure can easily be collapsed. But in space, um, it, it's able to um, persist until the organ can reach the, the end state you want. And so we're at an early phase of that development, but space may be one place where we're able to manufacture something like that that's hugely valuable to the people on Earth who are in the greatest of need. Any personal items that you're bringing up to the ISS? Yeah, I'm uh, going to bring my wedding ring and my wife's red wedding ring. Um, in 2014, I was fortunate enough to be the doctor of uh, uh, an astronaut who flew up uh, to space station. He took them up there before we got married, and so we were able to have them uh, at our wedding in 2016, and so I'm going to refly them. It'll be about 10 years later, so um, I'm super excited about uh, bringing that up uh, there. I also have uh, a Minnesota flag that I can bear proudly, so I'll fly that as well. Uh, and send you a picture. And we will be sure to let you all see that picture when he sends it back.